Ah, oh, dang, it broke again. Here, try this. But this is 3D printed. Well, it's worth a try. Hello, and welcome to Sailor's Project. Today, we're going to be seeing how good 3D printed tools are. So, just to start off, the tools that we are using are PLA, and they have 75% infill. And so the first thing that we're going to be testing is... An adjustable wrench. So, I had no clue how we were actually going to test this type of stuff, just because uh, I forgot some tools. So, since we have these tools, we're going to be testing it a little bit differently. So, we're going to pop this thing on there, and... Can we even pop it on there? Come on. Well, that's not a good sign. Won't even click to the thing. So much for adjustable. Okay, let's see. Nope. Okay, come on. Here, I'll even I'll even hold it together. Oh, this is a great start. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna move. So, all right. So this failed. I mean, I also could just just push it out of the way. So, all right. Now we move on to uh, regular pliers because this just doesn't work. So, since it doesn't work, we're just gonna. Uh, there you go. Now we have a use for it. What? It wasn't gonna hit you. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, now it's time to test the pliers. These are also 3D printed in PLA. So let's see. These. It's not even. Oh, that's a fun sign. Not even gripping on here at all. <laughs> it's still not turning. Well, I guess that's why you don't buy plenty. So the other thing just wouldn't unscrew. Apparently uh, there's Loctite on them and I prefer not to break it. So we just take in a bolt, put a nut on it and we're just gonna see if it could do it. Now I tighten this up using an actual wrench. So let's just see, these are ne the needle nose pliers. So it does work. Now does it tighten them? Come on. I'm not going, I'm not done until this either breaks or squeaks. Come on. Well, there you go. And it broke. <laughs> okay, well, garbage is right there, so. All right, now let's move on to the screwdriver. I just spent like 15 minutes trying to get the Phillips head to work and now it's stuck, so uh, yeah, now it's a flathead. So we're gonna see if that works. Just a little adjustment. <laughs> so. All right, let's see if it does it work on the flathead. Nope. <laughs> it's not even going in. Nope. Thought I can see the tip of it there. A lot narrower okay. than it started. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's 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 messed up. Uh yeah, let's you know what? Let's try something else. All right, here, here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... Come on, cool down. All right, now let's see. This is still gonna fall apart. All right, so take this, you force it in there. It's a single-use screwdriver. No, it just... It's a zero-use screwdriver. Yeah, this is a zero-use <laughs> screwdriver. Uh, into the garbage we go. All right, now we're back to something that actually might work. So these are joint adjustable joint groove pliers. So let's, let's get it on the lowest amount. Let's see. Well, it's bending. It does work. Okay, now how much can I actually tighten it? Okay. Well, right. another thing broke. That was the uh, middle pin. So, all right, well, that's another thing for the garbage. The last thing we're testing, which is the whole reason why we're actually doing this video, is we're going to be testing the hammer to see how good it works. So, here's our hammer, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see if we could just hammer in. This is balsa wood, it's weak anyway, so I just wanna, nope, come on. It's, it's in there, just... Come on! 
it's in there. Enough. <laughs> so now, now to the final parts. This is literally the only reason why I wanted to do this video. By the way, this is also sort of a joke video, sort of a I couldn't figure out how to test it, so now it is jo a joke video, but yeah. Don't 3D print tools, bring actual tools. Yeah, no, none of these actually worked. <laughs> no, they, it, it just failed. All PLA, of them did. PLA 3D printed tools are not it. Yeah, I mean, the only one survived was, the, was these just because they, well, they bent, I mean, let's see. Now it's well, broken. there you go. Now all of them broke. Now it's all broken. We have to clean that up. <laughs> so, well, that was a different type of video. It's an interesting type of video. This is Emma, by the way. Nice to meet you guys. And, uh, yeah. So, don't buy, don't build 3D printed tools if they're meant to replace metal ones, or at least, and the strength is the most important thing. So, yeah, don't, don't replace them, so. All right, well, that's the video. <laughs> we'll see you next Sunday, usual time, 8 a.m. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, What, whatever whatever you could call this. I don't even know if you can call this a video at this point. This is just a, get, just finish it. So, <laughs> all right, do you, you got anything to say? Thanks for watching, uh, this was fun. <laughs> no, no, people were, no people or animals were harmed in this filming. Couple tools though. Couple They're tools. not even tools at this point. No. They're just debris. <laughs> like.